Hello guys, this is Windham Balloons, back for another video. And this is my first episode of Windham Balloons Garage Works. I'm going to be showing you different experiments of ballooning and different parts of ballooning. Here we go. So today I'm going to be doing a quick auto care video on these three ballooning fans. This one is for Turn It Up, and two of these ones are for Herbal Magic. So I'm gonna show them off and what the experiments are with them. Here we go. Basically, this fan right here is a pretty new one, but it's still a little greasy. So as you see, I'll show you the switches of it off and on. It ha it's a little different because usually the off and on is where this max and reception and minute is. But usually when the fan gets covered by itself, it makes a lot of noise. This is one of the loudest fans we have. Basically one of these parts, especially um, where you turn it on. Unfortunately, the fan has different parts of itself. One, this is a little different and it has like lots of gasoline to it. So it's like a pretty loud fan. Yeah. These are the parts that turns it on. Switch goes there, and then it switches to the on one. So the first fan I was showing you guys, it's a Honda Mach Zero. Um, it has a Honda motor, and the number on it is a GX270. Yeah, it's by Honda. This is what the side of the Honda motor looks like, and this is the other side. It's a little different because, like, the motor is a little bumped up. And, yeah, because it has a different sound with the other fans. Because those two fans are homemade. And I'm going to be showing you guys the homemade fans in a little bit. This fan is 270 centimeters. Um, the motor of it, usually it's by number. 270. The GX70 usually doesn't have much stuff to it. It's just the model number of the Honda motor. Yeah. Now, the next one. This fan right here, two of these fans are homemade, and it is the Univer. This one is called a Univer, and this one is called a Kinetic. A Univer is one of the oldest fans made for ballooning and one of the oldest used for new balloons. As you see, it's a Honda G200. It's the model of it. Uh, it usually has a different off and on. As you see, once you switch it on, it usually gets ready but doesn't make much sound. Once you pull this, it doesn't go that far. Yeah. And the propel for it is up here, in which the, the propel for this one is right here. So, usually this fan's a little smaller because it has different parts to it, and it's made by a different model number with the other fan. So the max of the fan going loud is only 5.0 HP, and on, only because it's 197 centimeters, three and a half less than uh, this fan. It has a different uh, model to it. And one of my least favorite things about this fan, it only has less instructions than this one because the model of this one is an OCV. That's the model of the Propel, in which the model of this one, it doesn't have a model because they usually didn't have Propel models back in the early 2000s or 1990s. So this fan is actually known by a different propel, such as a crank side with different detail explanation. It has different manuals and instructions to it. And plus one of my favorite things about it, this kind of looks like a burner of a balloon. So technically that's why it makes only less sound. This right here is the final fan. It's the same model number, same one. It's the same kinetic, same model of uh, propel. 
But the thing is, it's a little different. As you see, the fan is a little smaller, the wheels are a little different, and even the propel has a different switch on it to open it. And as you see, it's still the same off and on. It's just that it doesn't make much noise. This goes a little far. Not much though. Yeah. Technically, I don't like this fan much because it's a little dirty and usually it's only for 90s balloons, such as a 99 model. But usually, this fan right here, I find the real bad boy. Got lots of motors, lots of instructions. And which are these two homemade ones? They don't. And technically, these fans don't have much of the experience with the Honda crank side. And as you see, the manual of this is not as, the same as a different Honda model of the number. As you see with this fan, it's by an, a real company. Honda still owns this fan, but it's also by Dayton, one of the companies that sells fans, um, souvenirs of, you know, models with the uh, Honda, and even models with the auto care. Yeah. Why you shouldn't touch this? I know it says hot, but why you shouldn't touch this? Usually when the fan is on, it starts getting a little warm. So when it's putting air into a hot air balloon, it needs like heat kit to get in. It can't just have air. It can't, it has to have heat. So both of those technically. So technically with these three fans, one is um, a real kind of fan and two of them are a homemade uh, different model of a Honda. So before we end the video, I just want to show you these experiments. Th so about these three Hondas, one is a real one for ballooning, two of them are homemade from atsv.com and they got a different model of a Honda for ballooning. Yeah. So technically, this is something with most of the fans. Usually, um, you shouldn't like touch them here once you're holding on to a fan, like when you're putting air into the balloon, because it also puts heat, not just air. Yeah, so before we end the video, this is the experiment of a fan. And what's cool about a Mach Zero, they actually got different kind of fans on this website. It's pretty cool. They even got kind of different mo motors um, of the different Honda model. So good thing like all these fans have different extractions and lots of them. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching Winham Balloons Garage Works. First episode on what ballooning parts these are. And it is the fans. Check out my two other videos I posted on there. Kiss the Sky and Left Bridge. Yeah, that was good there, and I'm back in Calgary now. Yeah, thanks for watching. Peace out.